fine. I'm just waiting for my backing band to get in place. Uh, I've never played with them before, so fuck it, it's okay, good, okay, good okay. shit. But uh, what can I tell you? This is, I'm going to do an old song. The first song with these little bird I used to ken. And her name is Susie. Susie Hay. Take it to the vibes, man. Oh, coming at you. Oh, is that me? Fuck no. I don't think it's me. So, la di da. <laughs> Any time now. I just kind of get the start these days, eh? So, where are you off feeling, eh? <laughs> any, any, any hips fans in the house? No. No? Oh well, fuck you then. I'm a hips fan. I'll go to my dad for that one. I'll go to my dad for that. I want to support the Armored Red, but you need to take the fucking burn about me this Saturday. Ah, it's time to get your pal. You've had more drugs than I have. And I've had quite a lot. <laughs> so it's a nice wee venue we've got here, eh? I wish the fuck the band would have been before they dragged me up here, that's what I didn't say. By the way, does anyone here mind swearing? If you do, I suggest you go to the toilet. I fucking do. <laughs> Cause I'm not a clean act. Burning man. man and boycotts my gigs. <laughs> that's uh, that's gonna get you a clue. The ones that need to come up. <laughs> Here we go, I can hear somebody stirring. This uh, leads attached to this fucking thing. I usually like to make the full use of the space in the room. Here we go, come on! Are we ready for some fucking good music in that? I'm ready to go, they're just winding me up the hill. Christ almighty me. So my name's Nob, and uh, I'm a bit of a knob like you can. <laughs> I'm building a website in the room. I'll give you the address when I'm finished, if you're interested. It's a fucking beach, by the way. It's an absolute store. I've been working on it for about 16 weeks, and telling you, it's quality. It's the best fucking site on the web. Hands down, they bother. And all the stuff we're going to hear tonight is available for fuck all on the web. Free! Of course, you can feel free to donate. I'm going to put my PayPal saying I'm kind of unemployed in that, so fucking <laughs> give generously. <laughs> Otherwise, my bear's going to fucking starve, can I mean? Because <laughs> I'm not going to get a real job. Fuck that. <laughs> Anyone work for a living here? I tried that, that was way too scary, man. Fucking hell. They expect you to pay shit. Turn up on time with that. Fuck off. Get a fucking grip. I'm not here to fucking go to work, Ken. I'm here to fucking rid the piss in the system. I do it fucking well. This guy's going to be ready something in the next fortnight for things to ride. Are we ready, boys? Hey, it's like Skinner's and Skinner's here. Let me go. The Nobarets, that's what we'll call them. The Nobarets. The Nobarets. We're ready. The No Reddies. The No Reddies. Here we go. Kick in. Susie Hay. I don't remember you ended my day. What we did 
was me and Ed. Well, she gave me some fucking head. Oh, Susie, I have to do one day time. You shag me to the bone. Then you tell me to go home. You take my money, but don't tell me you're a fool. It's a little break the voice. Suppose I could be dirty books I went up got the horn Or extend my sexual cure And make a living out of amateur porn I'll find myself a new girlfriend Who will spit on this my belly end Oh Susie, I wish I'd never come in your face You made a sexual demon to me Now I was perfect as a man Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate that generous applause. Thank you very much. You know what it is? We fucking struggled through that. It was fucking painful. What a hell it really was. Uh, I told the organizer, by the way, I had a CD and he was going to arrange one because I got backing tracks. And that would have been so much fucking smoother with the real music. So please bear with me. It's the first thing I banned and basically I'll go be having it. <laughs> You're sacked. <laughs> He's a fucking sack. It's so going to do a song at the end, but I'm going to put you through that again, eh? It's just no fucking right, is it? Guys, take a seat. Cool. No, no, neither thing's with you guys, by the way. Neither thing's with you. It was just, we needed, we needed rehearsal time, eh? Let's, let's just put it that way. We needed to rehearse. So now I'm going to do a wee poem for you. Can, can you handle a poem? Can you handle a poem? Yeah. Cool. What was that, mate? I'm just lying anyway. So this poem anyway, uh, you may have kind of little music and I, w I, wish, I wanted to be a rock and roll star when I was younger. So this poem's called Rock Star, okay? When I was a teenager, I had one goal in life. To be a rock and roll star and live a life free of strife. So I tried to learn guitar, but it wasn't as easy as it looks. I had to really concentrate to play even simple hooks. So I gave that up and I tell my friends that I was born to sing and that Elvis would soon be known as the ex-king. For they had a voice like a goose farting in the fog. And a sell for being a prince instead of a tuneless frog. So I took a lot of drugs and I drank a lot of lager. I thought by doing that I could be the new Mick Jagger. Unfortunately, I found out that that was not the case. So I took some singing lessons to try and save some face. £300 for 10 lessons to try and turn a frog into a prince. But no matter how hard I tried, I was still a bag of mints. The teacher was quite patient. I assured her I wasn't taking the piss. But she calls it off after just three lessons, saying 32 manures, no more this. But by that time it was too late, as I had got the singing bug. So I now perform in karaoke bars, in places such as this, dodging many a beer junk. If only I hadn't built myself up to be something that I'm not, I'll never be a rock star. Fucking much more talented than that lot. Someday I'll be discovered for the genius that I am. For who else can sing Heartbreak Hotel when I'm sprinkling lager for a can? Thank you very much. Hey! Hey! Are you a bit of a culture, a culture audience? I've got the feeling you're not kind of doing them at that kind of level. I kind of get a feeling you're kind of looking down your nose at me a wee bit, okay? You think I'm all right, all right upstairs in that? Well, I'm all right upstairs, let me tell you. And I wrote a wee kind of poem here, I wrote this after September the 11th. 
And this is not only at all, by the way. This is pure serious. This is me being a preacher, a preacher man coming at you. All right. This poem's called Duality or Love. I am a deeply caring person, but I couldn't give a fuck about winning any competition, because competitions suck. Rangers, Celtic, England, Scotland, who cares who is the best? We are all one consciousness, that's the duality to rest. For I was born into a world where people think they're free, fighting with each other to climb the imaginary tree. Why can't I take it anymore? I have to speak the truth. And if you don't believe me, you are the living proof. For when are we going to learn that peace can be won? It can only be withdrawn by a patriotic gun. For in this game of life, we are all God's chosen players. And love surely is the answer to all our secret prayers. Our destiny stands before us, alone and in great pain. We have a choice to make, my friends. Do we want the same again? For the world is just a reflection of what we're trying to hide. The chaos and the turmoil that's going on inside. So let's dig it up and here look, then leave it all behind. There really is no other way to obtain some peace of mind. You will feel much better when you burn your football strip. Although for something after you may have an unstable bottom lip, in the end it's for the best, for the only as young team. And that's humanity together, in its collective conscious dream. I mean, wouldn't it be great to connect with one another, without the barriers of division, religion, creed or colour? Where time was never an issue, so no work at nine o'clock, realising in every moment that true love is all we've got. We, Fragmented soldiers should all unite together to investigate our mind. Or maybe the people would then be curious to see what they could find. Reality would be shaken to a deeper, more real depth. And we could all remember fondly the dream that we just left. Thank you. Hi there, thank you. All right. Now back to the fucking mob, guys. <laughs> I mentioned Rangers and Celtic there, Ken. Everyone seems to go on with the Rangers and Celtic, don't they? Especially Kenny Miller, who used to play with Rangers. Woo! Same for Celtic. Woo! Woo! Everyone seems to think there's such a big difference, don't they? Between Rangers and Celtic, eh? But see me, I think there's about as much difference between Rangers and Celtic as there is between fucking Pepsi Cola and Coca Cola. I think we both brought your fucking teeth. <laughs> Right. Trying to take football a wee bit too seriously, eh? I, the, the kind of exact moment I, I think we take football too seriously. Watching a game on the TV between Barcelona and Real Madrid. Everyone here can Louis Figo, eh? Louis Figo he used to play with Barcelona. Sold to Real Madrid for a then world record. 38 million pounds. And he's coming back to play in Barca Stadium for the first time since his transfer. And you should have seen the Barcelona fans, man. They're giving them dogs abuse. Guys like, fuck you, two hate it. Fuck you. That's unbelievable. That's what I was watching. I thought, Jesus Christ, Hitler wouldn't deserve that much abuse. And he murdered the world record 38 million. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> All right, okay. I think I'm dying on my arse up here. So, do you want another poem? Or do you want me to fuck off? Another one, please. Another one? Another one, okay. I've got two choices. Do you want the slightly dirty one or the really dirty one? The really dirty one. The really dirty one? The really dirty one. Can you handle that? Because I got this when I was inspired by this. See, I'm an artist, to be honest with you, I'm an artist. And I try and talk about things out of my life, okay? and, I, and I look at a lot of internet porn, okay? I can't help it. It's just there. There's fucking means yet. So I wrote this poem based on that, and it's called Porn Addict. Let's hope I can remember it. I didn't want to get left behind somewhere I didn't care where. 
so I spent a bloody fortune on a high-tech personal computer. But ever since I did, I can't kind of seem to find the time to do anything but search for porn. Tell me, is that a crime? I sometimes wish it was, because I can't kind of fool myself away. I sit there cock in hand for at least 10 hours a day. The quality is spectacular. I've got high-grade resolution. The only problem is, I'm heading for an institution. For when I click upon an icon that says anal sex, I flip my lids when I'm taken to. Another page with nothing but text. All I want to see is a woman with a penis up her bum. Or at very least a man bending over for his chum. That isn't too much to hope for, is it? A computer that doesn't lie? I didn't ask for much in life to keep me satisfied. And when I do eventually find a site that isn't really lame, I then wipe myself into a frenzy until my wife comes home. <laughs> for I do not want her to catch me at it in case she expects some attention. Nothing is going to come between me and the world's greatest porn invention. Sure, she cooks my dinner and tidies up around the house, but she can't even bring me pleasure like my domesticated moose. Because sex with the missus no longer turns me on. And it's not because since we've got married, she's gained a living stone. And it's not because she doesn't shave her armpits or her beard. It's because my body won't get hard unless it's watching something weird. It's true I now spend half our income on toilet paper alone. And obviously I use most of it when I'm on the wagon throne. I've even had to remove the basket that usually absorbs my sin. And I've had to replace it with a fucking wheelie bin. I do get slightly embarrassed when the dustmen come to pick it up and a huge mass of rock hard pipe bog roll slides out into the truck. The neighbours are astounded. They don't know where to look. By the way they look at me, you'd think I wear a crook. Maybe they've got a point as I'm really beginning to worry. For where will this perversion lead? And believe me, it's going there in a fucking hurry. Maybe you'll come to see me in a good six months time. But I'll be in the dock getting sentenced for a Gary Glitter crime. <laughs> That's child pornography, not that raping the young, young children. <laughs> There's a line. <laughs> I'll be in the dock getting for a Gary Glitter crime. It was not my fault, Your Honour. I would plead as I led away. I had run out of decent options, because I wanked ten hours a day. Okay, okay, I will go quietly, as long as you promise me one thing that I can still get access to the adult porno right now. I often wonder what my granny, watching from heaven, would think after watching me masturbate my whole life doing the sink. Well, was it worth it, little one, I can almost hear her say. And I'd say, sure it was, grandma, because I got a wank in peace, 24 hours a day. Thank you, thank you, mate. <laughs>